Welcome back, everybody, to episode 24 of my All The Watch 10 playthrough. We have made incredible progress thus far. We have auto crafting. We have a ridiculous amount of resources and a storage system that is robust enough to be able to store all of those resources. Now, this is usually the part where you get a little bit bored and you're not entirely sure what to do next. I, on the other hand, know exactly what I want to do next. In this episode, I want to try to accomplish a couple very specific things. Number one, we have a very large amount of land around our main castle that we could turn into other little buildings and turn this into a village where our castle is like the city center. Number two, I want to continue to expand the bee farm and add more bees in addition to the ones that we have. I feel like this will probably become a, like a multi-layered building that goes up but I'm not entirely sure how I want to do it yet, but I'm excited for the prospect of doing it. Also, I will likely completely redesign this first one. Anywho, thank you guys so much for being here. Get something to eat, something to drink. It's episode 24. Let's get into it. All right, now there's one thing I forgot from the last episode. I realized after I clicked stop recording that I had made another 360 reactor casings to go up here and connect. However, I never placed those down. So I think what we're going to do, 360, is grab them all and go ahead and put them all down real quick. Not going to add a whole ton more power, but it'll add a pretty substantial amount. And we already had them made, so we might as well. All right, so I need... Buckets of water. Let's dump some of this stuff back in here. Okay, so now we grab bucket of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those on the hot bar. Do the other half real quick. And then I want to try something. I want to... Well, first let's go through and let's turn auto mode on for all of these. And then I want to just hook it up. I don't want to try to put anything else in there first. I don't want to make sure it's in the right order. I want to see what happens if I just add the item pipes and hook it straight into the reactors, which I should be able to do on this first one pretty easily. Just grab it, plug it in. Yeah, it just goes. All right, in that case, grab item. The rest of the item pipes we have, hopefully it's enough. Pretty close, but I do think it is enough. Yeah, four, four to spare. So the rest of these should do the same thing, or it just fills everything up. Temperature stable. Perfect. Okay, so all 10 of those reactors are going, so we have 40 of them now. How's this guy looking? Oh, we're over half full. And it's going up incredibly quickly, too. Excellent. How is our chest looking with resources? A little low on the coal blocks. We could have more. How are we looking on coal in here? Coal blocks. I mean, I can make a thousand of them. And still have 11k left over. Okay, so it said that our auto crafting was done. Take as many as we can real quick. Put them all in here. Okay, so there's two things I really want to focus on building. Number one, we need to increase the size of the bees. Because we're going to have a lot more bees that we're going to need to make. Because eventually I want to do a video where I make all the bees. Kind of like I did with the mystical agriculture seeds. But I don't know if you've ever looked. Um... There are so many bees, so many bees for everything under the sun. And uh, that would take a while. And I mean like a while. So I think we're going to work on that slowly. And then also just like upgrade this thing as we can. The problem is the way I designed this was really only to work as like a one story kind of thing. Because everything's sort of on the bottom underneath. 
I don't know how well it would work if it's uh, if it's multi-storied. Because there's no way for me to run the item pipes, really. Which, maybe I don't need the item pipes. If I did modular routers for each of them, and similar to this, I just had one of these underneath, where it pulls in from next to it, and then sends it out to the chest to go through the centrifuge. That also solves the issue that I have with the ender combs, where they have a secondary liquid output that can't go through the normal centrifuges, because then I could send it directly to one. That may be the way to go. To start with that, I need mauve. M-A-U-V-E, mauve planks. Unexplored wood essence. We are gonna have so many mauve planks. So now the question needs to be, with all the mauve planks there, is it gonna look weird? Because we could leave these ones here just like they are because they're kind of built purposefully to look the way that they're supposed to, the way that they are, with the exception of this copper bee that just looks awful. And do we try to just come over here maybe and make a brand new beehive that's like gigantic and houses everything because I'm leaning towards that. I think that's definitely the way we go. Uh, I'm gonna have to break a lot of beehives to do this and they're gonna all be mad at me and that's gonna be great. Okay, so we're gonna chop down all the trees first. Try to level a little bit of an area out. So my current thought is we build big beehive over here and then we repurpose both of those buildings for something else because I like where they are. They've got a good, a good spot. They're spaced out nicely for like this to look eventually sort of like a village. But as soon as I get an actual like large beehive where I can house all of the bees, it will probably serve very little purpose. We are getting a really nice big flat area out here that we can use. All right, that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna extend it out and make it a straight drop. And then the next step to this is going to be kind of designing the path and how I want the path to go because I'm thinking there's going to be like a straight path right here with some stairs down to whatever I'm going to put down here. And then this right here is going to be a big bee cage. And there's going to be a path that runs in front of the castle there. Those are my thoughts currently at least. All right, perfect. So now it's just a square drop off. Come over here. So we're doing the path in mauve it looks like. Inside the castle, it's not, but... Okay. So that's where our mauve planks will come in. I come out to at least... Here. I hate an even pass, so we're gonna go with a three wide. I don't wanna go one further. Yeah, that's where we wanna do. We will need a staircase there. We're going to grab our planks out. And then we're going to need to dig this out here too. It will definitely all need to go. We are going to stair step it down here somewhere. Probably about like that. And then here, grab that, bring it back. I don't understand why I didn't get that one. Got it now. Let's have it go to right here. Perfect. Now I need y'all to remind me if I forget, I have to come back and I have to put stairs on all of these because the whole point of this is to make it look like an actual walkway and a walkway wouldn't have these gigantic big steps up. We need to put staircases on it. So if I forget, please leave it down in the comments to let me know to remember to go back and put them. I need them here. I need them over here. We got to do all of that. Next, we're going to cut off. I think it's I. Yeah, we're going to cut right here, I think. These three. And then this here eventually will circle around and connect with the other path. But for now... 
We're just going to run it to right there. Perfect. That's starting to look pretty good. Okay. You see, I can work off of this. We can make a city here. I needed a little bit of a template before we got started, but I think this will work. Um, so there's something called a beekeeper's hat or something like that. Bee uh, hive tool. A bee hat. Hey, I got a quick question. So what's that beekeeper's hat called? The one where I can break the hives and they won't get mad at me. I think it's called a bee hat or nest or bee nest helmet yeah 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 got it okay thank you the bee nest and a diamond helmet all right i don't think i have a bee nest but i can grab one i need a bee nest uh bee nest hat i don't have a diamond helmet all right bee nest hat Plot head, so it should go right there. Now angry bees shouldn't attack me, which means I should be able to break all of these. We're gonna do it all with my silk touch shovel though, because I'd like, if possible, to keep all the beehives. Also, can we take a second just to appreciate the beauty of shaders in Minecraft? I mean, just the the aestheticness of it all. Ah. Oh. I love it. All right, that's all of those. Take a quick little schnooze. We got all of that done. All right, design time. Equidistant, so it's like a two block gap here. We're gonna want a two block gap here, which means dead building we're gonna build with this. Probably gonna want to have start somewhere in that range. And I don't necessarily want it the full distance. Oh, you know what would look really cool? I want to get some uh, deep slate bricks. Yeah. Now the cave has an entrance. Perfect. So that's going to be one corner, but I kind of don't want it there. I think we do one in like right here instead. That gives me closer to having the ability to have a full squared off building. If we do that, the second one would be right there. And then this one would be here. We came two in there. So one here, right there. I think that is what we're looking at for our hive. And I think it looks pretty good. But I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space here. I could probably just plant a little garden there, like do a little little terrace that might look kind of cool. I bet I can come up with something. I'm not going to be too worried about that. So primary colors are going to be purple and black. I think I'm pretty confident about this being the size that we're going for. Go ahead and lock that in. Make sure I still love it. I do. I have a concern. A slight concern. Am I going to hate the fact that it is basically the same size, but it's off centered from my main castle? And if I am, would I be better off doing two buildings so it looks less weird? With like a path that splits between the center. Because I'm kind of feeling like that might be the solution. Because this, I think, is going to look weird once I get it big and tall enough to store all the bees. I like what I'm doing with everything squared off and it's going to look really pretty. But I, I think I'm going to have to split this building in half. This is why you always lay out the base for your buildings first. Because sometimes things that are the right size and good in concept just don't look good like in person. So then throw that down, throw that down, there, and there. How much better is that? I think it's going to be a ton better. I think it's going to look so much less weird. But then from, yeah, we'll figure out the rest of the terrace stuff after. For now we're doing this. And then my full expectation, just so everybody knows, is all of the gaps and spaces in between is either going to be pretty white or we're going to go through and put some shrubs and some pretty plants and flowers into everything to make it all pretty. That's what I'm hoping to do. All right, so that's the base for our two buildings. Okay, so then the question becomes, how high? 
And the answer to that question really should be technical and math based. I sincerely should look into how many bees there are and how many spots I'm going to need, but I haven't yet. And I don't know if I'm going to. In the meantime, go ahead and place down a whole bunch of mob planks. Oh, you know what we could do? Oh, I've got a cool idea for this building. I have a really cool idea. There it is. Okay, so my really cool idea is what if we connect these guys at the top? Like, what if there's this little platform thing on the roof of both? We can go between them. Or what if it even just covers the whole thing? And then we use deep slate bricks. Come up one more. Cut across there. I think that's going to look incredibly cool. All right, so we got to figure out how we want to do the rooms in there. We'll definitely have to get some lighting in that. Or, or, is there any sort of better glass? All right, so the recording cut off in the middle of me talking, I think. I'm not entirely sure how much of that we got or if any of it is actually salvageable. So we're going to do swap those out real quick. Then we will put this back on my back. Make sure both those stay fully charged. What we've done so far is we built this. I've got the roof. We're going to do some design stuff back here, probably with a lot of vines and shrubs and just growth in general, probably some trees to make all of this look really natural and pretty. There's going to be some more trees and flowers and stuff up here, probably in pots. We got a couple different areas in the roof that we can put stuff in that I think will be cool. I really like that design up there. And then in each one of these, we're looking at doing this right here where we're gonna have this exact design from the floor all the way up to the ceiling, but we're gonna do it with this glowing glass. And so theoretically, we won't ever have to put any torches in here. It should be bright enough, no mobs will ever spawn. And we can put, like we are talking before, uh, a single one of those modular routers in each of these at the bottom there with the block that the bees need to fertilize in front. And then on top of it, we put the beehive in the expansion one. And then they can just do everything in here and that modular router will send all of the combs over to our ME system or centrifuges to go through first. So that's the plan. We should never have to touch these. I haven't decided if I want to use the planks as like a separator, a divider between layers yet. We might do that, we might not, I'm not sure. But we definitely are going to use this glowing glass to build everything. So. Put that there, snag it. Put it right there. Build a couple of these real quick. That's gonna look so pretty. And then if we do more of it, just like in between the layers, it'll look even better. Maybe it's just me because I'm biased, but I think this looks really good. This may be one of the first times I've ever been like actually designing something and just been like actually incredibly proud of it. I'm designing things that care more than about just functionality. Like, I feel like this room with a bunch of bees in it is going to actually be very pretty. And, you know, we can put vines and stuff in here as well, since we're never going to have to come in here for anything. And, and I think overall, this room is just going to be very aesthetic, as well as just the buildings in general. We're putting effort towards actually making them aesthetic and look pretty rather than just completely functional. Which, there's nothing wrong with functionality, but... I, I often find myself in modded Minecraft just caring about functionality and not about the aesthetic at all. There's actually 177 bees total. 178 if you count normal. However, some of those aren't 
possible to craft yet. So I think the... So if each of these can hold 80 different species, we do 160 between both buildings, which would get us 17 less than the total number, which would probably be pretty close to what the actual number of bees we could house is, or the actual different types of bees that exist in this mod pack so far. So I think we're pretty good. All I have to do now is mirror this on the other side, and then I'm also going to cut a door out right here. Is that all of it? Looks like all of it. Heck yeah. Okay. So we have two beehives built. Got this cute little terrace up here. I really don't have a way to get up to yet, but it's going to be super cool. Right there. One more at the top. Wait. All right, we're good to go. All right, there they are. We were able to complete the ultimate beehives that should be able to house every single type of bee that we can currently make in the game. I think next episode, we're going to work towards actually moving some of the bees over. But for now, I would consider this a fantastic progress. Like, we've, we've really made some good progress in this one. So with that, we're going to end the episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all the love and support on these episodes. My channel's been growing really well lately, and I don't understand what I'm doing. It's the same thing I've been doing for years, but I really enjoy that it is. So as long as you guys keep watching these videos, you keep leaving comments and liking the videos, I'm going to keep making them. If you guys have any suggestions for how I could do this beehive better, leave those in the comments down below. Don't forget, you're special. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.